Good morning, Ruckers. I'm Maciel Torres. And I'm Kim Ballard. We've got a special behind the scenes episode lined up for you. It is Tuesday, November 22nd, 2016. Today, we're going to take a look back at the host and crew of Ruckers. Whoa, wake up, Ruckers past. Ooh. Weather watcher Jane Menar will not be here to give you the big regional forecast for the day. It'll be me and Masia. We're going to go behind the scenes at Wake Up Rockers and see what goes on. And Chloe Cooper is going to tell you about the movie 500 Days of Summer playing on our channels this month. Let's start the show and you are watching Wake Up Rockers on RU TV. I completely <laughs> Hello, Ruckers. It's great to be here on this cold and very un unconventional Tuesday morning. Mm, why is it unconventional? We're, we're never find here out. on Tuesday. Oh, that's true. That's true. We're here to wake you up on this special schedule Tuesday morning mm -hmm. with all the latest and greatest news events and weather. You're right. We're not here. I keep forgetting that it's not Thursday. I know. Because this is how I start but it my is Thursday. Thursday. But it is a Thursday class schedule. And tomorrow is Friday for tomorrow those of you who Friday. don't Tomorrow is a Friday. Yes, it is. Good so, little PSA there. Masia, I've got some questions for sure. you. Sure. What made you want to host Wake Up Rutgers? Ooh, um, I don't know. I felt like it was a different experience that I hadn't done before. Um, I wanted to see if I could do it, pretty much. Um, I want to eventually become a reporter or a producer. I'm still kind of playing along those lines, and I'm a senior, so I don't yeah. have a lot of time to, you know, figure that out. But That's what true. about you? Um, well, I want to. You, do you know who Conan O'Brien is? Yes. I just want to be him. Honestly, I just want to be, I want to be, um, I want to just be a comedian who is constantly just making jokes, having I a new show. I think you're like show. halfway there, though. I, w I would like to think I am. I would like to think that I am halfway there, and I would like to think that one day we will both have our dreams come true. Believe it or not, a lot of people who have done Wake Up Ruckers have gone on to work in the field of news, journalism, or comedy, so... You know, we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for like those who came before us. And they've done a lot of hard work and they have great dedication. That's true. Um, so something along the lines of what we wouldn't have a show like this today is with uh, all of the hard work that other people have put into this show. And we're, you know what, we're going to take a look at what the past uh, Wake Up Ruckers hosts and crew have done. Ooh. <laughs> Well, rest in peace, am I right? <laughs> that was actually pretty depressing. No, yeah. It was cool to it see was who. Cool. It was cool to see, but it's also, it was kind of like a eulogy, and <laughs> I, I miss them, and I'm really heartbroken. Uh, I miss Connor. Connor was... Connor was very funny. He was he was an interesting character. I, I would like to think um, I have a similar delivery tone to him, but nobody could you do know it what? like him. I completely agree. Thank you. So it's about time to take our first break. Before we go, let's see how much you know. Oh, so let's see how much you know. Who were the hosts of Wake Up Ruckers for the spring of 2016? Hope you were paying attention. We'll find out the answer when we get back right after this break. Do you like kicking back in your free time? 
sometimes the dorms can get stuffy and boring. So head on over to the Rutgers Zone. Need somewhere to watch sports? Need to satisfy that ice cream craving? Or are you tired of your old video games? Rucker Zone is where you need to visit. Enjoy some games, food, TV, karaoke, and so much more. And don't forget to ask for those ice cream toppings. With all of the cool things at the Rucker Zone, why would you even leave? If you are on Livingston campus, make sure you swing by the Rucker Zone, just a bus stop away. For more information, please visit zone.ruckers.edu. Welcome back, Rutgers. Before the break, we asked who were the hosts of Wake Up Rutgers for the spring of 2016. Mm, it's time to find out the answer. And the hosts of the spring of 2016, so last semester, no, last, last yeah, semester, yeah, last, last semester, semester, were Julia Palazzo, Chisa Ibelu, Joy Lupo, and myself, me, oh. myself, and I. Chisa, <laughs> Chisa Ibelu, one he's of another my favorite great. people. He was in um, Rutgers Night Live with me, and he's just he was in so everything. funny. Such a good human. I think we, um, part of the media team, interviewed him for like a Rutgers 250, kind of like a cool spotlight on him. He's like he, a CEO. He, he does everything. He was the, the Quidditch captain. Yeah, he was, he was really, he was good. And then you hosted last semester, so how was yes. that? Well, like I was saying before, it was a new experience. Um, so you kind of like slowly learn to build chemistry and learn like throws. I still didn't even know like TV language, so I'd be like, I'm going to throw to something. And I'm like, wait a minute, you're not supposed to say that. Oh, well, that's what I say. So I guess, <laughs> I guess you got to learn. You got that buffer, that little buffer semester. Yeah, but and then you, know, you get good exactly. by the end. Exactly. Yeah. But I was glad to be given the opportunity. Now I have a new host, which is you, Kim. That's I think we true. do a great job. I think we have good chemistry. I think, I think, we're, so. I think we're rocking it. Pretty sarcastic, so. Yeah, I, I just have a really dry tone. you guys hear what we say tone. off the air. <laughs> <laughs> oh, off the air. You don't want to hear that. Well, so uh, let's talk about the weather a little oh my bit. God. That, the weather has been actually crazy. Yeah. When was it? Saturday? It was like 70 degrees and then it started snowing. It was such I a was, nice day. I was wearing no jacket because it was hot out. And then I go inside and I come back outside and I was really cold. Maybe we'll have a white Thanksgiving. Maybe we'll have a white Thanksgiving. Mm. Mm. Let's check out if this is a possibility with the regional forecast. On this Tuesday morning, we are off to a chilly start with just 38 degrees. However, it feels even colder, about 31 degrees. The high for today will be 44 degrees, and the low will be 27 degrees. Despite the cloudy weather, there isn't much of a chance of rain, but maybe some moderate rain. And tomorrow, it will be a bit warmer with sunny skies at 48 degrees. We'll be waking up on Thanksgiving with a bit of rain and a high of 49 and a low of 38 degrees. There will also be some afternoon rain on Friday, but it will stay relatively warm with a high of 53 and a low of 43. So be sure to bring an umbrella if you're going Black Friday shopping. Hmm. It's actually colder in here than it is outside, don't you think? Um, like in this studio. It in is this studio, crazy. it's pretty cold, but the wind outside has made it. Yes. Last night, Howling. I was coming home uh, from the city at like midnight, and I was walking, and my ears almost fell off. My <laughs> no, ears cold. almost fell off because it was like so Like I was cold. telling you earlier, I don't know, it's because I'm sick, but I slept with a fuzzy robe, two blankets, fuzzy <sighs> socks, dream. fuzzy pants, and I was still, I had the chills. Yeah. It's, it's pretty bad, but at least we're not having a white Thanksgiving. That'd be a little weird. That would be, I mean, it's happened in the past. I remember, well, Has it? I was really young. I was about seven or eight, and I remember it snowing on Thanksgiving. And it, it was snowed, really fun when I was maybe like a like child. Maybe like two years but. ago for um, Halloween. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. That was so cool. And that was only two years ago? I feel I like that was maybe like in was high more. school. I don't know. It feels like a long time ago for my, me. My sense of time is a little off. Me too. Maybe it was more than two years ago. Yeah, it could be. Well, we are going to check out the news and events when we get back right after this. The Rutgers bus system provides more than 15 options to get around the five campuses. Sounds overwhelming? But here's a quick recap of the bus routes and available resources to make traveling easier. On weekdays, the A and H buses make stops along College Ave and Bush. 
The B loops between Livingston and Bush as the LX makes stops on Livingston and College Ave. The F takes an express route by traveling Route 18 from College Ave to Cook and Douglas. The Rex L goes between Douglas and Livingston with the Rex B looping between Douglas and Bush. There are also weekend buses which make stops on every campus. Each bus stop displays the routes of the specific bus stopping there and the expected arrival times. To learn more about the Rutgers bus system and additional bus services, download the Rutgers app, visit nextbus.com or ru.rutgers.edu. Masiel, it's getting close to the end of the semester. Finally. S I know, right? It's Stuff starting semester. to wrap up. Isn't it crazy, though? Just think of back when we were freshmen, when we were first oh. years coming in. I never thought that I'd get to this point. That it's, it's. I completely agree, and I never thought I'd be in the major I'm in. Yeah, I me either. I, I came in as a I chemistry had. major. Really? Yes, came I was in a, a chemistry in the business major. school. Isn't that crazy? My, my, look at where we are today. I know. I never would have expected that by my senior year I'd be hosting Wake Up Rutgers. But things are starting to wrap up. So get ready to rock out with Rupa's live, last live vibe coffee house of the semester. The event will be taking place next Wednesday, November 30th, from 8 to 10 p.m. in the Cove in the Bush Student Center. Be sure to register in advance to showcase your talents. Relax and listen to some incredible music. For more information on registering for this event, please visit rupa.rutgers.edu or go to the Facebook page, facebook.com slash rupa presents. Don't kill me, but I've never been to one of those. Me either! Well, never been we're, to we're one. We're running out of time. I know, that, we're right? running out of time. I know, that's what I'm thinking. Now that I think about it, we're actually running out of time for a lot of things. We're running out of time for most things, but oh another gosh. chapter of our life is going to start, so it's okay. I mean, I wish I did more stuff when I was here, but then you think about it, we've done a lot. That's true. We have. In our own way, we've all, we were both on the media team at one point. We yeah. were on it now. I'm on it now. To be. You used to be on it. We've And through that, we've gone to a lot of events. Very true. Yeah. Well, as you know, Thanksgiving is coming, so yeah. you can participate in Rutgers Giving Day 2016 next Tuesday, November 29th. Hosted by the Office of Dean of Students and partnering with Hashtag Giving Tuesday, a global giving initiative that follows Thanksgiving, Black Friday and Cyber Monday. There are three ways you can get involved with this Rutgers Giving Day. The first way is to participate in various social media challenges each hour via Instagram or Twitter using the hashtag, hashtag AreYouGivingDay, then tagging your favorite Rutgers cause. The second way is by either adding a brush stroke to a giant canvas, taking part in a paint-themed scavenger hunt, or sharing an act of kindness at either the Bush, College Ave, or Cook Student Center from 12 to 3 p.m. The final way to participate in this year's Giving Day is to make a donation. For more information on this initiative, please visit givingday.ruckers.edu. I want to do that so bad. I remember last year, um, I'm part of an organization called Rutgers Future Scholars. Uh -huh. So pretty much they have 50 students from New Brunswick, Piscataway, Camden, and Newark, so like the home towns of Rutgers. Mm -hmm. And those, fi those 50 kids from each town, uh, they're picked in seventh grade and you get a full scholarship to Rutgers if Whoa. by the time you're a senior in college, you actually get in. So it doesn't guarantee that you get in, but they help you pay for the cost because you know that's those are really low good, income Yeah, places. that's great, so especially I with think college that, Yeah, I think so. they're one of the causes, so I'm gonna put my own plug in. If you guys wanna help them out, they're called Rutgers Future Scholars, and I'm sure they have something coming up for yeah, a given day. definitely help out. And honestly, all that, all that stuff sounds so fun. You got the paint yeah. theme, scavenger hunt, you got adding the brush stroke, you got the acts of I kindness. I wonder where this canvas is. I think they said it was on Bush. I'm not hmm. sure. We'll, we'll have, have to, to check, check the it. website. We'll have to check the website, <laughs> exactly. Well, Rutgers University marked itself as one of the oldest institutions of higher learning, celebrating its 250th milestones. With concerts, exhibitions, fireworks, and the New York City's Empire State Building lit up scarlet red, Rutgers University truly made this historic event a memorable experience for students, faculty, staff, and alumni. 
In part of a day of revolutionary thinking, distinguished alumni return to their alma mater to share their experiences and how education has contributed to their success. To help mark this anniversary, President Robert Barchi rang the old Queen's Bell donated by Colonel Henry Rutgers and was then joined by the church bells throughout New Brunswick, Newark, and Camden for 250 seconds. Afterwards, Chancellor Richard Edwards revealed a Rutgers bred dogwood tree, the Scarlet Fire Cornus Cusa, that will flower a dark red in the spring. Edwards shares, the act of planting a tree that has special significance for many reasons. It represents the continuing cycle of life and the very idea of growing a memory. Finishing off with the nighttime festivities and specialty drinks, popcorn, music, sketch artists, and t-shirts, President Robert Barchi highlighted, we have much to be proud of and many reasons to celebrate the leaders and doers and heroes who have shaped the history of Rutgers. For more Rutgers news and events on campus, please visit news.rutgers.edu. Did you uh, celebrate in any special way? I was not here, unfortunately. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so I, I kind of missed out, but I think it's cool okay. to know that like we have a school that's older than this country itself. I know, it's crazy. It's and we've crazy. been having these 250 celebrations yeah. for the past year. There's been lectures, oh, there's yeah. been guest series. Um, did you hear about the, uh, like, it was a research thing called Rutgers and Black, or something along those lines. Scarlet and Black. Scarlet I and did black, hear about yes. that. I was unable to go to that, but it sounded it was very really, really cool. So it's about like how Rutgers has ties to like slavery yeah. and um, taking land from the Native Americans. But it was a way kind of to look back and see what they can do about it. So at the end of the day, it was positive. It's progressive. So, yeah, exactly. It was I great appreciate research. that. And other great research that's happening here at Rutgers is psychiatry research. So Anthony Tobia an associate professor and director of the Psychiatry Corps Clerkship at the Rutgers Robert Wood Johnson Medical School, has designed an innovative way to incorporate music, film, and literature to bring light to some of the issues in psychiatry. And his most recent teaching approach has been The Phantom of the Opera, the story of a beautiful soprano, Christian Day, who becomes, who becomes the obsession of a mysterious, disfigured genius. So Bia was introduced to Julian Udine, the North American tour actress who would eventually go on to play the lead role of Christine on Broadway. This fall, Tobia and Udine had the opportunity to come together for an event, which streamed to 24 universities nationwide, hosted by the Department of Psychiatry. With over 450 in attendance, Tobia went to, through the five stages of grief, with, of grief, I'm sorry, with Udine, while still in character as Christine. He states that Phantom of the Opera is not only the most inspiring musical I've ever seen, it is also a perfect clinical study for teaching about mood disorders which includes full-blown clinical depression, psychosis, and suic oh, suicidality. It's a hard word. To be a students and residents examine psychopathology through the lens of popular culture, claiming it helps remember the material more and engage with it and connect with your own life. For, no for more news and events, please visit news.ruckers.edu. I'm a bad theater major because I have never seen Phantom. Have you? Not, I haven't seen it either. I mean, I'm not okay. a theater major, yeah. but that's a classic. You should I probably... know. It's a classic. I always wanted to see it on Broadway, but I've never gotten the chance. I like that they mentioned that when you kind of connect, you know, what you're learning to something kind of pop that's culture. That's really cool. It does help you remember. Like, if you can make something to a song, yeah, that always helps you remember your material. So I think this is a really cool way to discuss something that's kind of abstract. Because mm -hmm. mood disorders are really... It's hard. It's, it's a chemical thing, but it's also very individualized. Yeah, so. it's not just uh, clearly defined. It's actually interesting. Um, I have a lot of friends in my major who are double majors with psych, so I'm going to tell them about this. That mm. sounds really cool. We're going to talk about that more after this break. This is Kate. Kate never utilized the many great resources Rutgers has to offer. Now, Kate doesn't have a job. Don't want to end up like Kate? then you should go to University Career Services. University Career Services provides career-related counseling, resources, and programs to help individuals clarify academic and career goals, establish career plans, develop job search skills, and make successful career transitions. The mission is to build relationships with alumni, employers, and graduate schools to optimize internship, job, and career opportunities. From workshops and webinars to fairs and other recruiter visits, the staff within University Career Services works tirelessly to prepare students and connect them to the world of work. For more information, visit careers.ruckers.edu.
So this show is really special because uh, we're going to showcase later the behind the scenes yep. of how we make this show. But uh, just to give a little sneak peek, how would you describe us mm. making this show? Um, I think it's cool. We get here pretty early. Yeah. Um, 7.45. Yes. We get here super early. Got to be but up. But we have to set up. Um, we have to make sure our audio levels are great. Um, yeah. We practice with the guests one time so they feel comfortable in front of the camera because it may seem easy, but sometimes... Sometimes, yeah. and especially like for your first time on live TV, it's a little hard. So Definitely. So um, we go through that. We check our news and events, make sure check it's easy to say. Because as you, can, as you can see, I tripped over some of the words. And sometimes... It's a little hard for me to enunciate some things, so I have to go to that. There's some behind the scenes stuff that we do. Um, yes. I work both the Monday and the Thursday show, so we have the TriCaster, which makes the show live. We have um, the audio in the sound st or in the studio along with the TriCaster, which allows this show to be live. Um, they set up the virtual studio. Mm -hmm. Actually, a fun fact is. There are no desks in here. Everything you see, <laughs> it's a green screen. Surprise! Were we not supposed to tell them? Well, I think it, I think it's fair that we tell them. I think they should know. I think they deserve to know, <laughs> especially truth. because this is a special behind the scenes. Look, here's a piece of paper. Where'd it go? <laughs> it just went through the table, and that's because the table doesn't exist. We also have a teleprompter, as you guys know. And we TV. have a teleprompter, which is why sometimes if we're reading, uh, we'll just trip up on words every every now and again. We're human. It at happens. The end of the day. We're human. Um, but along with uh, setting up the TriCaster, we white balance the cameras. White we have balancing three. the cameras. Yes. We have three cameras, so we're looking at camera one, camera two, camera three. And we have a great crew and cast. We have a great crew and they work so hard and they get here super early. So we are going to check out the behind the scenes making of Wake Up Rutgers. really well made. Nice. I've never seen it before so watching it now was really cool. And as you guys can see it takes a lot of work to put on a show so we do appreciate you guys watching and being up with us this early because yeah. it is not easy let me tell to you. To all of our viewers thank you for waking up and sitting here and listening to us <laughs> yeah, because, because we, we appreciate it. We and, all and we talk do. some nonsense sometimes. So. Sometimes like right now but like it's it's honest. It's an honest thank you from us the cast and the, and the other crew. hosts, yes, the cast and the crew. And I, I love heard it. something cool once um, at a, um, a career fair, and it says like, if this is what you want to do, why aren't you doing it on campus? If you have a TV station, why aren't you involved? So I think it's such a good way to show that you are interested in TV and that you do want to do it, even though this is a smaller scale. You exactly. Know? We're going to throw to a quick break, and then we'll be back to talk about what's on our UTV. <laughs> What are you doing? You've been on this couch all weekend. Don't you want to go out and have some fun? And what exactly am I supposed to do? And you've been eating these processed foods all day. Aren't you tired of it? Listen, pal, I gotta eat. I'm glad you said so. <laughs> you're out and about, you have plenty of options to satisfy your hunger. If you're feeling retro, try Henry's Diner. You can get a burger, a 
sandwich, salad, and much more at any time. Wait, 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 wait. You mean I can get a burger at 9 a.m.? Yes, you can. You can even satisfy your sweet tooth. Starbucks has the perfect pick-me-up for you. You can order a coffee, cappuccino, frappuccino, and much more. You'll stay refreshed and caffeinated all day long. If you're in the mood for something more exotic, then stop on over to Hoja Asian Fusion. Well, I am craving an egg roll. Well, you're in luck, because Hoja Asian Fusion not only serves that, but General Chow's chicken, sweet and sour fish, and bubble tea. So that sounds great and all, but what if I want something quick? Then go to Kilmer's Market. Kilmer's Market takes eating to a whole new level with healthier food options and meals made just for you. Craving something zesty? Cajoba will melt in your mouth with quesadillas, burritos, tacos, salads, and much more. Reward yourself after class with a delicious dairy treat from 16 Handles. You can choose from 16 flavors and top it off with cookie dough bites, strawberries, or sprinkles. Whether you need a repair or want to buy new, Kite and Key is a store here on campus ready for your tech needs. One problem. I'm a broke college kid. I can't afford any of this. Well, no need to fear. Kite and Key has a student discount. You can escape reality for a few hours right here on campus at the Rutgers Cinema. Ticket prices are $7 for students with an ID, and without an ID, it's $9.50. Hey, thanks for taking me to the Livingston Plaza. I feel much better. Hey, I'm trying to watch the movie. For more information on the Livingston Plaza, visit theplaza.rutgers.edu. Get off your couch and go have some fun. Winter is coming. Winter is here. It is Winter's cold here. outside. It's pretty cold out. But then I'm wondering, okay, when's the weather going to do the thing? When it's like, nope, it's going to be hot out today. Oh, I mean, we just had that on Saturday. Was we that, just had or was that. was it Sunday? You know, we wish there was you know, an eternal summer. At least I do. So that's why we're going to watch 500, 500 Days, days of, of Summer on RUTV. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode yeah, right of What's on RUTV. Right I actually I'm your host, movie. Chloe Cooper, and I'm here to let you know about all the great movies we have playing on RUTV for the month of November. At the very, very beginning, oh, sorry, I confused myself. Okay, sorry, sorry. You know, you know, keep it rolling, keep it rolling. Okay, that's fine. I would thought I. What the fuck? Well, Hello? so that was a little snippet of 500 Days of Summer. Uh, we had some te technical difficulties, but just to give you, we'll tell you a little bit about the film. What can I remember? I saw that a long time ago. Yeah. What do you remember from it? Um, I remember he meets this woman named Summer, and they have a relationship. And uh, well, it was weird though. It wasn't a full like relationship though. It wasn't really like, a, like full a full relationship. Weird... It was a weird. It was something weird, but. However, it ends, he gets Don't depressed, tell he's telling the story, but I'm not going to tell them oh, the okay, ending. Okay. Something <laughs> happens in the end, and uh, I don't remember you got to watch the movie. Oh You'll see, you can see it on our channel. I really don't remember that. Really? You don't no. remember that? Oh my God. Well, you got to watch the movie, I, girl. I will, and that's actually one right. of my favorite movies, and I can't remember the ending. How, how crazy is that? That is crazy. Well, well, Rutgers, that'll do it for today's episode. So for more events happening this week, you can go to getinvolved.rutgers.edu or areyouevents.rutgers.edu. Follow us on Facebook by searching RU Network or follow us on Twitter by searching at Wake Up Rutgers. And don't forget to tune in on Monday with hosts Olivia Cruiser and Joey Lupo. Thanks so much for watching and have a happy Thanksgiving. I'm Maciel Torres. Yay, happy Thanksgiving. And I'm Kim Ballard. Have a great day, Rutgers. And we will see you next week. What happened? What the? I literally was like this.